All right, all right, all right. I think we are live. What is up, guys? Zach in coming at you live here. Welcome to a cold calling session. Watch me in this video, cold call motivated sellers in your wholesaling real estate business. This is a really exciting one, guys. I am pumped up for this one. Oh my gosh, I'm telling you, nobody ever talks about cold calling live. Nobody ever discusses it. And again, no other YouTuber will literally go out, put their butt on the line on a cold call and literally cold call for you guys, literally live. Like it, it is insane how many of these gurus just refuse to cold call. It's, it's a disgrace. It's disgusting. And it's crazy that no other YouTuber does this because they're scared that they're going to look bad in front of you guys. And you know, I'm not the perfect cold caller and I'm not the perfect guy out here for it. So, uh, I'm gonna give it a minute, let everyone hop on here. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to go cold call free wholesaling lists. And then from there, we're going to go try to have a conversation with some sellers and try to get some deals. So this is a pretty exciting one, guys. So let me look at the comments here. Let me see where everyone is coming at from. And let me see what I can do to help you guys out in your wholesaling business. So let me make sure everyone can hear me. I want to test this out because if I cold call and literally nobody can hear me, this is going to be a mess. This is going to be one of the worst uh, renditions ever just because if I can't do it, then it's going to be bad. So make sure you got the audio going. I'm, I'm going to pull up some scripts for you guys here that I, I'm trying to get my other uh, scripts for you guys. Here's my script. So I just want to copy it in just so you guys can see the script that I'm going at and I'll uh, put it in here. So what we're going to do is we're going to be cold calling Zillow for sale by owner leads today. I get in trouble a lot. Everyone asks me, Zach, why don't you, uh, why don't you cold call regular high equity lists? Why don't you do this? Well, let me show you. Number one, first of all, it's a free list. So I don't get in tr First of all, it's free. Hold on, where's control V? All right, guys, I'm trying to pull up this script for. Boom. Okay. Just trying to get put this in the little Chirons below me. Okay, we're going to add that one in there. And then, boom, that should be good. Because the last time I pasted it, I think I got in trouble. Okay, just so everyone knows what script I got. Let's see here. I'm trying to pull up the script that I used last time, just because I know some of you guys are going off of that. All right, boom, boom, boom. Perfect. And get this one out here. Just getting some people on here. Or give me a second, guys. Just pulling this up here. Boom. Done. All right. Appreciate the patience, guys, here. So got the script loaded up for you guys here, just uh, so you guys know. But appreciate it, guys. Appreciate it. So I see everyone giving me their market. What I want you guys to do here is comment below your market. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go cold call three lists. This is going to be an absolutely free free list for wholesaling real estate. The reason why I love cold calling free list is because first of all, they're the hardest list to cold call. It is the most difficult to cold call this list. This is the hardest list to do. And I like doing it to show you that if I can do a hard list, you can too. I'm going to show you, I'm not an expert cold caller. I'm not the greatest cold call on earth. I'm not the sickest cold caller. I'm not here to go close sick deals in front of everyone and be the, be the slickest guy ever. But what I do want to call is I actually get in front of really good sellers or a lot of motivated sellers and I actually get deals doing this. Uh, I, I don't personally do it in my business anymore, but the reason why I love talking about this is because it is the fastest, simple, and easiest way to get a wholesaling deal, calling free Zillow lists. So if you guys do me a favor, I want you guys to comment below what market you're in and I'm going to put you in the, on the picker wheel. Once you're in the picker wheel, I'm going to we're going to go spin that uh, sucker around. And then from there... Once I choose the picker wheel, I'm going to cold call that market. So it's going to be a really exciting one, guys. So the reason why I do this, again, I'm going to say this one last time, is because first of all, it's a free list. Anybody with any, if you know the English language, you can get this done. You don't even have to know the English language half the time. But all you have to do, this is a free list. Anyone watching this, if you're just brand new to real estate, you can actually go here and do what I'm doing exactly and get motivated sellers. It's crazy. It's a tough list. It's not the easiest one to do, but guys, 
I, if anyone can do this, I'm going to show you, I'm not the slickest cold caller, but all I do is take action and I get results. That's how I made hundreds of thousands of dollars in college. Cause I literally just doing what I did now. So the, the one thing also I want to say is wholesalers, like gurus for like YouTube, they refuse to do this. The ones that sell cold calling coaching and like $10,000 cold calling courses, they don't do this when they do their cold calls on YouTube. What they do is they, they get the phone, they got their grandma on the other line or like an actor and they pretend to close on a deal being all slicks. Like, Hey, look, I'm going to show you how to be that slick. Yo, it's, it's not like that guys. It's, it's the same, the nineties guys, this ain't 1994. That, that's not how you do it. The boiler room's not, it's not, it's, it's a fake movie. It, that's not how real cold calling works. The Wolf of Wall Street, it's a fake movie. Jordan Belfort did real stuff, but it, it's dr dramatized. It looks all sexy and stuff. Guys, cold calling has to be simple. You go for a yes, you inquire the four pillars after that, and you try to meet them at the property. That's as simple as wholesaling real estate, real estate should be for free lists. YouTubers don't do it because they don't look as slick. I want to show you the truth. I'm going to show you the whole truth when it comes to cold calling free list. So uh, guys, I need you to blow up the comments for me. Guys, if, if you're not pumped up right now to go out and cold call, go out, change lives. I feel like me doing this will change someone's life. Get someone's butt out there to start cold calling. They'll become better wholesalers, better at just talking to people, better at talking to motivated sellers by watching this video. If you are not jacked up right now to watch me cold call, I don't know. When before I get into cold call, I'm about to cold call right now, I get jacked up. First of all, I think of why I'm cold calling. Why am I cold calling right now? What is the benefit of me cold calling right now? The benefit, I mean, obviously I might get a deal, which is great. I'll probably give the deal away for you guys. But the big benefit for me is I know I'm about to change thousands of lives right behind here absolutely for free. About to change thousands of lives cold calling. If that, that jacks me up to go and cold call. I am pumped up right now to go cold call. Like it's coursing through my veins. I'm pumped up to go. This is the energy you need to be going in your cold calls right now. If you do not have this energy right now for your cold call, if you just like, oh, I'm going to go, you know, are you interested in something? Guys, get jacked up. You only have one life. Are you going to change your life today by cold calling? Start marketing. Go after it. Start hunting. Go out there, get motivated sellers, get deals, change your life. If this video is not going to change your life by telling you just take action. I don't know what's going to let's go guys comment below your market. I'm going to put them in the picker. We're going to get some deals today. I'm ready. Woo. <laughs> oh man. I don't know guys. I like, I'm telling you, I got to bring the energy today. This is a pumped one. No other gurus do this. They're scared. They say it's boring. No one likes watching me cold call guys. I think you guys watch this. There's a lot of people watching this right now. It's, it's not boring. It's you're just scared to do it. All right, let's see what markets we got. What's up? What's up? Beast mode. Got Colorado coming in. Rochester, Colorado Springs. Looks good. Looks good, guys. So let me uh, let me get the wheel going. All right, guys. We're making some changes to the uh, studio, as you can see behind me. So if there's like a notification that pops up or a FaceTime from my grandma, I FaceTime my grandma because I love my grandma. Just ignore it. She's probably going to ask me if she can make like bake me a cake or something because she's the sweetest. So if this just pops up randomly on here, just let you know. It, it, I, I did not plan this. I put do not disturb. I don't know what the computer is going to do. Um, I, 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 we're still work, work in progress on this. So if, if my grandma calls me or something, or Rick calls me asking me about like the dolphins. Just be careful. Okay, guys. So let, let's get it going. Let's, let's see what markets we got. I already warned you if someone just calls on the FaceTime on, uh, on my, on the thing behind me. So, uh, you guys are warned. So let's go share my screen. Let's start adding some people on here. Chrome and a picker. So this is a little picker I'm going to choose right here and we're going to go from the top here. So, Let's see here. First market we're going to put in here is Jacksonville. All right. We're going to put Jacksonville. Ball County. Does that do anything? Oops. Oops. 
Nope. Okay. I guess we got to do it by there. All right. That's fine. Let's see. This is awesome. So excited to see one of the most successful wholesale shows, how it's done live. Thank you. Colorado. All right. Let's, uh, let's get Colorado. Do we have a city on here? Spell that right. I hope so. Hey, Christian, are you in here? Rochester, New York. That, that seems like a tougher one, but we'll do Rochester. If I spell anything wrong, I'm sorry, but oops. See my spell this right. Oops. I swear I went to college, guys. <laughs> uh, Colorado Springs, Jacksonville. All right. Been listening to your podcast nonstop the past week. First time catching you live. Thanks, Alex, so much. I truly appreciate that. Just drove through Cocoa Beach. Awesome. H Town. All right. I know. We already did Houston once, so we're gonna we're gonna skip Houston this time. Uh, Lancaster, PA. All right, we'll put Lancaster in there. The reason, guys, why I do this little will picker thing is because everyone thinks, oh, Zach got a lead in here from Zillow Fisbo, and you know Phoenix, Arizona, and he just randomly chose guys. I do this randomly to show you, like, there's no bias when I'm cold calling. I, I literally, I'll do any market. Ocean County, New Jersey. Oh my God, it's gonna be a tough one. I'm just gonna put NJ there. You guys are really trying to just uh, Phoenix. Do you know how saturated that list is gonna be? We're gonna do Phoenix. I, I, I swear, if this thing lands on Phoenix and you guys are gonna make me cold call Phoenix leads all day, it's gonna be tough. Uh, Zillow for sale by owners. Uh, there's still deals doing that. Uh, still Zillow for sale by owners on there. Fayetteville, Arkansas. All right. Or Northwest Arkansas in general. All right. Let's do it. Basically, Arkansas can just be fit on the whole thing because of how just small that thing is. All right. Anywhere in Cali. I, let me give me a city. SoCal. Okay, we'll do SoCal. I'll just do Inland Empire if I had to do that. Kernersville, North Carolina. All right. Kern. Where is it? Kernersville. Friday. Let's see, Phoenix. Or I did Orlando. Uh, Prince William County. Just put VA. Virginia. Portland. All right, guys, taking slower, but I just, I just want to make sure everyone gets on the stream on time. And I also want to make sure that I make sure everyone watching this is represented on the spinner wheel. Uh, Springfield, Massachusetts. All right, let's get some people on here. Hey, what's up? Visalia, Cali. Alrighty, Indiana. All right. Let's see what else we got philly we'll do we'll do i think i did philly but i'll just put it in there again maybe it changed i'm gonna show you exactly the houses i'll be looking for in that area i already did new jersey always pumped up when you're on the zap uh when you're on the call joss wants to say when to call one of my leads yeah bro dm me the phone number i'll call him right now give me some info i'll do it right now i'll close legit guys want me to close anyone over uh right now over the phone i'll do it for free i don't care Guys, I do this business for real. So I'm not scared. I'm not scared of this live. Most gurus are scared of this live, guys. Why? Because they're not as good as they're saying. I'm telling you. 
they think their success is based off their students and not their actually their skills. Let's go. Let's go. All righty. Hey, Zach. Uh, another note I wanted to skip tracing and try to use coupon code Zach and it didn't work. Is there any other code I can use? Uh, coupon code Zach won't work if you already do smszach.com. That's a big issue. So you can use code Zach. The issue is if you already did a free trial with someone else, it won't let you do that or if you use someone's code before. Let's go. All right. Let's see. Got any other uh, cities on? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, Jesus. Okay. That's a lot of cities. So I'm going to go pick. All right. Right now I'm going to intense. I'll give you 20 seconds, guys. Okay. 20 seconds. Put your market down right now. In the next 20 seconds, I'm only going to use those in the next 20 seconds. So I need you guys to pop on there in the next 20 seconds. Do me that favor and uh, we'll get it going. Next 20 seconds, guys. Again, while I'm waiting for the next 20 seconds, this video is sponsored by freewholesaling.com. I'm not sponsored. I don't sponsor anything. Uh, freewholesaling.com is my free wholesaling course. It's really free. It's a $8,000 course I give for free. Uh, every time you sign up, a guru cries, sheds another tear. So hop on that one. And uh, it's everything, all my, like, it's the best content I you have in wholesaling, all organized perfectly. That's what I could say right there. Let's go. All right. Let's see. Last one cut off here will be Milwaukee. That was the last one. So we'll do actually, Jesus. Okay. Everyone's not putting it. All right. We're just going to do Madison, Wisconsin is the last one. And we'll go, we'll, we'll, we'll pop it off from the top there. So Madison, Wisconsin, uh, I did Houston, Denver, Dallas, already did Dallas golf port. When I say where to do, I did it in multiple videos. So three months ago, I did a series every week where I cold called two hours a day, uh, for three sessions. Uh, so it, I might've, pro I probably did a lot of your cities too. Fort Myers, beautiful city, Fort Myers. Actually, uh, recently visited the Edison and Fort house in Fort Myers. That's a cool place. Hey guys, uh, gonna want forty thousand more than I'm willing to offer. Seems pretty set to. Hey got, hey got a guy who wants forty k more than what I'm willing to offer. Uh, seems pretty set. I'd love to see you make him the offer for me. Gage, DM me. I got you right now. I got my phone set up. I actually have notifications on for like the next hour because I know people are gonna DM me uh, places to call. I get hundreds of DMs and messages a day. So I don't keep my notification on. It'd literally be ding, 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 ding constantly. If I had comments on YouTube uh, notification, I used to have those on. I had to turn them off once we hit uh, 10,000 subscribers because it just went ding, 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 ding. It just never ended. So uh, we'll do that one. De San Francisco, I'm going to skip that one. That, that's a very tough market for cold calling. I would not recommend that one. Uh, Dayton, Ohio, we'll add that one in there. Top market, excuse me. And then we'll do well, Baltimore. We'll do, we'll do the county. Baltimore. Okay, we'll do Austin. Okay, we're gonna skip New York City. We'll 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 pop on Knoxville. Okay, we gotta get calling right now. So. And I already did Tampa. Let's see here. Let's see here. And then Macon, Georgia. We'll, we'll do Macon and then. All right. We got to get calling. So we'll do Macon. All right. Let's get going, guys. Make sure you guys you don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Helps a lot. Helps the uh, YouTube channel. Helps us grow um, our audience. Uh, just grow the community that we we're going for free wholesaling information. This isn't going sack in the goat. I appreciate it. Thank you guys. I'm hyped up. Let's go. Shout out to FaceTime. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, guys, we're going to do Zillow for sale by owners. Make sure I didn't miss any uh, important questions the guys had. Let's, uh, how do I get my name to show up instead of Facebook user in the chat? Uh, there's a stream yard link on the top. Uh, it should say StreamYard, and you got to give StreamYard permission in the wholesaling houses for real. Guru's crying right now. I'm telling you, people think they're the sickest cold caller ever until you click the live button. Everyone thinks you're the coolest cold caller ever. 
until that live button gets once that live button's turned on people start crying they're scared they don't know what to do so it's it's funny but uh let's get it going guys let's uh let's pump this up hey my guy all righty can we send you a message on facebook of course of course i haven't got a message from the guy who wanted me to call his lead so let's get it going so round of applause please let's go let's go let's go all right we got the list it is updated it is out there let's see if you got lucky let's see uh Good afternoon. Let's see if we can get it going. Let's see if we uh, get some deals. So I think I click the wheel. Ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Let's get it, guys. Woo! All right. Jacksonville. All right. We are going to Jacksonville, Florida. Going to go to the home state. We're going to stay in the home state here, Jacksonville. I'm going to do uh, one really quick thing. I am going to be cold calling Duval County, not just Jacksonville. We're going to do all of Duval County and see what we can do from here. Again, guys, the one thing I do ask you if I'm cold calling is I might have to take a break for 30 seconds to get more water because literally I chug water while cold calling. That is the one thing I do. That is the one thing. Shoot. Looks like Gage just, uh, hold on before we get it going. Looks like Gage gave me the lead. Let's get some information on this one. Let's see here. Not Gage. This was, um, let's see here. Yeah, Gage got it. All right, I got two leads. Someone wants me to call. So, guys, should I cold call right now, Jacksonville, or should I call these and close these uh, leads really quick for uh, Gage? Let me know. All right, let me get the info. All right, I got two people DMing me uh, leads to call. So I'll go cold call those. It's technically cold calling, so we can get it going. All right. Close the leads. Close the leads. All right. Let's close this deal. Let's close this uh, deal. So let me uh, pop up the lead. I just, I just asked him if I can uh, comp in front of you guys. If not... All right, so it looks like we can comp from here. So we're going to do Jacksonville. We're going to uh, stop it. We're going to put up the lead on here. This lead says it's... So I'm getting the info now. Just do me a favor, guys. If I pop this up, this is not your deal. It's not your lead. This is not even mine. I work for Gage here. Okay? What are we are going to do? All right, guys? Let's close this deal. Let's go, guys. So let me pop some info on here. He's telling me this is the address, uh, 2828 Northeast 47th Terrace. So let's pop it up here. So this is what we got going on here. It says do wants 98500 for it. Uh, this is a 21840 square feet. Let's look at some nicer houses. Let's try to find the ARV really quick. It seems like the ARV's. Um, I'm gonna look at a comp really quick. Let me pop up this comp for you guys. Looks like this is an interesting comp right here. Let me see if they'll let me pop it up. So the cool comp 125 is under contract. Uh, let's see, new deck appliances. I'm getting no information on the condition on this one, though. Okay. Let's uh, bring it back up here. All right, see if I can close this deal. Let's see what we got. So let me just load up here. So this is 840 square feet. Looks pretty good, though. All right, let's see. Let's pop it up here. Oh, just popping up the info on here. So, all righty. Okay. All 
All right. So it's, uh, I'm just trying to get the info out here. So it says he went 98, five for it. That's his number. Philip is his name. All right. So let's see if I can close him on here. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Okay, I don't have an hour to go comp this um, properly. But let's safe to say the ARV is 120. I'm going to call this guy and kind of have a little more, uh, need some more info on this one. But we'll see what I can do here. All right, let's see what I got. All right, let's open this up. Okay, where's the thing? All right. Let's put my phone number in here. I'm not personally calling this guy, but we'll do it up here. So his phone number here is... All righty. Let's go. His name is Philip Beats. Dude wants 98.5. All right. Guys, I'm going to be asking for pillars from here and then really try to get some more information about the property and then see it. So just a quick number. I'm going to do the math really quick on my phone. So let's say the ARV is 120 on it and it needs like probably 40K in work. It has 80. We're going to multiply that by, let's see. We'll say we'll do 82. That means we're probably closer to 65 uh, as the MAO. So maybe 70. We'll, we'll see if he's even comfortable around there. But we'll, we'll see. So let's call this guy. This is Gage. Hello. Yes. Hello. Hey, Philip. Speaking. Hey, Philip. How are you doing today? This is uh, Zach in. Uh, well, we've had a hailstorm, so I guess we're fine. <laughs> oh my gosh! How are you doing from that? Big burn. How are you dealing with the uh, hailstorm? Okay, that's good. I mean, I I remember hailstorm as a kid. I the, our cars got literally destroyed with that. They're the size of like softballs. It, it, there's some crazy ones out there. There is. <laughs> uh, we got lucky on this one today. So um, the reason I'm calling you is uh, my partner Gage was telling me about uh, this property here on 47th Terrace, and uh, he was telling me you were interested in selling it. people interested in buying than I am selling. Oh, okay. Well, are you even interested in selling the property? I'm selling the price is right. Okay. And what was the right price? I mean, it just seems like you, you're not here to uh, dilly-dally at all. And I mean, I'm I'm here to make it simple. So, I mean, what, what price were you at? Uh, what was the address? 2828 Northeast okay. 47th Terrace. $98,500 cash as is. Okay. Huh. And how did you come up with that price? Um, well, I didn't want to price it at 110 so I, I thought 98 dollars would be better. Okay. Well, this might be some... I'll take 100 I'll pay 110 if you want. <laughs> oh, wouldn't we all? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. And why were you possibly even consider selling, considering selling the property? Uh, 
Okay. And is the property that you live in? It's owner occupied. Okay. And in a perfect world, what was the perfect time for you just to get rid of the property and just leave? I mean, what was your time frame for selling? Oh, yesterday would have been fine. <laughs> all right. All right. And the, the question I have for you, I mean, if you want as much money for the property as possible, I mean, you should probably list this thing with a realtor. I mean, is there a reason why it hasn't been listed on the market right now? Well, I'm not particularly uh, looking to sell it, but if I can get the right price of it, I, I will. Uh, realtors are very expensive. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, no, see, if I, if I want to sell it, I'll put a sign in the front yard that says uh, for sale by owner and uh, I'll probably have a half a dozen people run over me before I get back in the house. Oh, I guarantee it. Okay. And so realtors are expensive. So are you telling me, let's say you were listing the property on the market and you got an offer for 98.5 on it. Would you take that offer? Yes, I would. You would? So sure. considering a realtor's commission is 6%, that means you'd be sort of netting after closing costs around $90,000, right? Okay, but my question was, if it was listed on the property and someone offered you 98500 for it, you said you would take that, which means you would probably be willing to take net at the end of the day after closing costs and everything around ninety, right? Well, we'd have to raise the price if we went to that. Okay. Okay. I need 98500 out of it. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to get the, try to get the difference. Cause I just asked you that you said you were possibly interested. I, I just want to make sure my price points kind of matching with yours. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here. I mean, may, maybe I can be able to do that price. I mean, what year did you update the property? I have it. Oh, you have it. Okay. Well, does it have a new roof on it? No, it's not new by any means. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm just kind of looking at what the rents would go for in the area on that property versus what we'd be willing to pay for it. And I mean, overall, where I'm looking at, I just don't know if 98.5 can be sort of a price where I'm at. I mean, I'm, I'm closer to here. I'm just trying to find a win-win here for you because honestly, I don't want to buy a property from someone who doesn't just want to sell it. So I, if you're willing to work with me, I'd love to just look at the property even further. I'd love to just know about more of the condition of it. Uh, but if you don't want to sell it, you don't have to. But I mean, I'm serious about buying this house. Well, bring me a cashier's check for 98.5. We'll get you the deed. All right. Well, let me look at everything. I mean, it, so the property's not updated at all. It is what? So it's not updated at, at all? Oh, uh, yeah. It, it, it has had some updates uh, before I bought it. Okay. And my last question for you here is if, let's say you don't get that price, where are you just going to stay in the house if you don't get that 98.5 for it? Oh, for today. We don't know about tomorrow. Okay. Well, no worries. Let me, let me look at everything and see what I can do. Uh, if we're not at that area, at that price point, we probably can't do much, but I still want to work with you here. I mean, would you still be open to me going by the property and looking at it? You can drive by anytime you want. Okay. So it'd be okay if I went inside with you and just kind of looked a little more if I was just serious about no, giving you. No, no, no. I'm, not, I'm not letting anybody inside. Okay. I've had, I've had break ins and I'm just not going to do that anymore. Okay. I mean, the, the reason why I'm asking you here is I'm serious about buying this property. And. On, and if just like buying a car, if I'm going to buy a car, I have to test drive it. I have to physically look at it. I'm kind of old school. I mean, do, do you understand why to maybe have to go buy the property and look? Sure. Okay. So would that be something 
you're okay with me doing? I said you can drive by anytime you want. All right. No worries. I appreciate it. Okay. Thanks. Have a good one. Oh my gosh. Hold up. I've got to fix that. I don't think I charged my computer. All right, I'm back. So let me uh, let me shift this shift the screen really quick. All righty, guys. All righty. So looking at this deal right now, uh, it seems like a little bit of a mess, but. Uh, let's see what I got here. All right. Hold on. Let me let me switch the background really quick and we'll get going in about a minute. All righty. So just looking at everything here. I mean that that deal was a complete mess. Like it, like I don't know why that even be a good deal at all for anyone. I mean, unfortunately, let me get some of the thoughts you guys had this, but th these sellers are crazy. Like this is unbelievable here. I... I I just I I don't see why a seller would be willing to do that. But hey, overall, whatever. All right, just had to get that background thing done. So I, I did not charge my computer and it died. So whatever. So uh, overall, let me get what your opinions, guys, was on that one. But uh, Jesus, that that was a that was a weird one. I mean, the, the guy didn't want to he didn't want to sell. Like honestly, that was not a good sales thing at all. So it, it was not a good sale. Um, I tried closing the lead here. The the guy is not motivated. Like I asked him every single question in the book on that one. First of all, hey, if can I go inside the house? That's the why do I ask that question? The reason why I ask that question, guys, is if you are not willing, if you are physically not willing to let me in the property, and you don't have like this, like if you're not gonna, like if you're deathly scared of like getting just sick or something from a disease, whatever. Hey, benefit of the doubt, it's okay. But like, if if you're not scared of that and it, you don't want me inside the property, you're probably not serious about selling it. Motivated sellers like, come by, come by, come by the house. They're like, Zach, I need to get rid of this property, guys. A motivated seller is someone who wants to sell the property and they have a motivation for going. They have to sell it. This guy's gonna stay in the house till he gets the offer he wants. Like Andrew says here, not motivated. Angelica, not motivated. These sellers are hilarious. I'm telling you. But we don't know about tomorrow. He's a seasoned vet. He's talked to all these guys. These sellers, man, they're driving me crazy. This dude is a gem. I, uh, I'm i telling you, he's not, that's not a motivated seller. I, Duvall gang, oh my gosh. I'm telling you. He was not willing to deal. I was trying everything. I even hit him with a wordplay there. Hey, if I was willing... If you're willing to get an offer on the market at 98.5, would you take it? Yes. Well, that means you take 90. He's like, well, no. Guys, like, oh my gosh. Yeah, we're, we, that's, a, that's a lead you have to follow up for a very long time. But it's like, guy, like, come on. Ser it, it's, it's like that meme from SpongeBob where the guy's like with the wallet. And he's like, so this is your wallet, right? This is your life. Yeah, that's not my wallet. Like, I'm like, hey, 985 of the market, that means you take 90 actually cash, right? He's like, no. 
Well, would you take 98 in the market? Yes. Well, you know there's 6% in the market? Yes. That means they take 90. No. You can't beat these guys, these people with logic. It drives me crazy. <sighs> See, there's any other leads. You guys want me to close really quick? Let's see. Karina asked me a question here. Uh, let's see here from Karina. Karina, I need a phone number here. Can't do anything about the phone number. Let's see if I get the phone number. See if you need me to close this one. If I get that one, whatever. If not, uh, I'll go do it. No, uh, if you look at the replay, I mean, my, my, my hearing needs to be checked, but he said his owner occupied. That's what he told me. So that's what he's saying. Yeah, let me get some actual cold calling going. Um, I'm getting someone's phone number right now. Hey, can you call this one, please? I texted this one guy last week and I asked him if he was interested in selling. He said, what's your offer? I texted him. I needed to know the condition as I give him an estimate. And he said, never mind. Well, you need to call. Don't don't text. But Karina, it's okay. I told him that we buy houses. I figured he's interested because he texted it. He said, what's your offer? I wanted to see Stoners a lean for 32K. The flip, the amount is, I'm just, okay. All right, just, uh, I got the phone number. I just need the address to look at it really quick just so I'm not too much in the dark on this deal and uh, I can get it going. So let's get it going. And let's see. Oh my gosh. Pico Rivera, California. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let me see what I got here. 8839. Let's look up this property. After that, we'll start doing the Zillows. But geez, is this in Palo Alto? Oh my gosh. Let's see where this, I just want to get a general gist, uh, a general gist of where I'm at right here. Let me just start to focus on this. Nope. You got the wrong focus, buddy. All right, so let's, let's see where I'm at. So let's share the screen here. So it looks like I'm calling in Pico Rivera, California. Interesting. And let's see what area I'm at. Looks like a little east of LA. All right. Okay. Seems like a decent deal. Let's, let's get it going, see what I can do. So just east of East Los Angeles, East Los Angeles, guys, that 30, that, uh, was it the, uh, was it, what, what do they call them? Um, last chance he was pretty good on that one. I watched that one like this summer. All right. So let's see here. Let's get the phone number. So I know the area, you know, I, I watched a lot of last chance you for basketball on that one. So I guess I'm a local. So <laughs> That's what I got. So it's 8839 Creeland Street. So let's get some info on this one. All righty. I'm, I'm only using Zillow, no list, rei.com prop stream for this one just because I'm trying my best here to do all this info for free to show you guys don't need any money for this. So let's pop it up here. So uh, 2 1. Let's see, 21780. That comp sold for 475. 725. Let's go look at the pictures on this one. This looks like it's ARV material. Let's see here. Um, it's a little box. Jeez. Okay. Not too renovated, but I guess ARV would be 500 on this property. So if it's sold for that, it still needs to be renovated. So maybe 500 on it. So do a quick calculation on here. 500 K. I guess that thing probably needs 30 to get into shape. I'm guessing that the roof's decent. It's 
you're in LA, so I think 90 to 423. So this could work potentially. Let me uh let me pop up the lead up here while I'm calling. Just so you guys see me. Okay. The phone number here is 626. Please leave your message for six two six eight five seven eight four zero one. Hey, this is Zach. Please give me a call back whenever you can. Have a good one. All right. I guess we got no uh, nothing on there. So whatever. No answer. So let's get going. Duval, represent. I'm not from Duval County, but. Let's go to Zillow. Let's actually look up, look up some information on Zillow. Let's go to um, housing data. Data Zillow. Let's see here. Let's go to housing data. Let's look up some housing prices around there. And then median house price Duval County. So it's pop it up here. Let me show you some statistics I'm looking at when I'm doing my calling here. We're going to do Duval County, Florida. So as you can see here, the median housing index price here is $250,000. So that means we're going to want to get below $250,000. Getting below $250,000 is what we really want to be at. And that will probably be the best for us. Okay, guys, those are really going to be the area and the pricing that we are going to go around. So let's do Jacksonville. Let's see what pops up. What's the median housing in Jacksonville, Florida? It's 242. So if we're doing something in Jacksonville, we might want to be below 242. Uh, probably some nice areas around there. So pretty good. Pretty good. So let's start calling. Let's uh let's pop up Zillow. You guys can see this here. And let's get it going, guys. So if you're not pumped up for this one, I you guys get at, hop off the stream because if you are not jacked up right now. Start getting some deals, changing life. I don't know what else is going to jack you up to change your life here for wholesaling real estate. So uh, let's pop it up. Let's let's get some stuff going on and let's change lives. It's all about changing lives today. So let's pop it up. So we are going to do Wall County. Oops. County, Florida. And let's pop this up. Up to Ball County. Okay. And let's see what we got. Let's see what we got here. So let's see. 4.61. Hold on. Okay. 6.8. All right. So uh, what we're going to do here is we are going to pop up my script here really quick before we hop on and uh, let's get it going. So let me just show you my script. So this is my script for cold calling Zillow for sale by owners, a tad different than cold calling. Let's say the, the script is cold calling high equity. Of course, we're just going to ask them if they own it and they're interested in selling it. That, that's the kind of the benefit of a high equity list is they're really simple and easy to do. The issue here is these are Zillow for sale by owner. So obviously all of them are going to want to sell, like sell the property. So you're going to have to dig a little deeper into motivations on there. Overall, they're really good leads, 
but you just got to work them a little harder. So let's, let's go here to the script. So script here on the starting is, Hey, is this the owner of one, two, three main street? Of course, we're going to ask and make sure it's the owner. The reason why I asked that is I want to make sure that they are actually not the realtor for it or an agent trying to list it. It's never good. You don't want to be doing that. So I always avoid that. So next here is, Hey, did I catch you at a good time to talk? I'm calling about your ad on Zillow. And I had a couple of questions. I'm looking to buy it for cash other than price. Why are you looking to sell? The reason why I asked them other than price, why they'd potentially be looking to sell the property is because number one, we want to see other than the price because that's the first answer they're going to give us is, oh, Zach, I want to sell because of X, Y, and Z. Well, duh. Of course they want to sell because of the price. But up after that, we want to really try to dig in the motivation. Again, asking that question, other than price, why are you looking to sell? That is the best way I found success uh, with these people. And then asking about motivation, condition, time frame, price. Are you flexible on price if you're able to pay closing costs, inspections? Great. What's a good time for me to call back, present my cash offer, or meet you at the property? Again, we're trying to get these people off the Zillow price. This is the best statistically I found uh, with success on Zillow. So Let's get everything going. Let me uh, get some water really quick and see what I can do here. All right, some water. All right. Uh, so looks like we got some water on here, but um, eh, who really needs water, right? So let's get the screen share going here and let's change it up. So that is my script. That's what we're going to do. Got to hydrate my boy. Do you have these scripts? Yes, I'm going to put them in the description of this video once everything's over. But uh, that's basically the script I'm going to be using. So we're going to see what we can do here and uh, get it going, guys. So alternate angle for cold calling. We've got alternate angles for cold calling and we got regular angles for cold calling. Uh, change it up a little sometimes, but it'd be a really fun one. So let's go at this angle really quick. See what we can do here. For our cold calling real estate, this would be a fun one. So uh, let's get it going. My name is Zachary Ginn. I'm a real estate wholesaler. All right, share my screen. All right, so basically what we got to do here is we're going to go to, uh, let's see, we're going to go for, for sale. For sale by owner, no agent listings. What I like to do is I want to have these leads actually simmer. What I mean by actually simmer is I want them to actually be on the market for a while. I, I want them to just kind of cook on the market, if that makes sense. Uh, the reason why I want these cooking on the market is because the longer they stay on the market, the less wholesalers are going to contact them, which means we have an opportunity for, in wholesaling real estate to go and contact them and make a profit. So uh, let's go try to get these people going. Let's uh, pop it up here. And uh, see what we can do here. So pumped up, guys. Let's get it going. Boom, 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 boom. Let's see what we got. So let's start from, let's see, newest. So we're going to go all the way in the back here. 77 days. That's pretty good. We'll start right about here. We're going to see a little more about this. This is going to be this best value on the block. Neighborhood going to lose if you do not snatch this up. Bring your RV.
get that one in there. So let's see this value on the block, bring your RV and rebuild this piece of property. You will find it oh, close to the river for this price. Public boat ramp. All right. All righty. Public boat ramp. Meeting listing price. This guy knows his stuff. Hmm. All right, let's call it. All right, I'm going to look for the phone number here. Looks like he increased the price. All right, shoot. Where's the phone number? It says contact agent. Here we go, 352. Following tropical window tinting and signs and A and J auto salvage. We are unable to take your call right now. If you leave us a message, we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Have a great day. Thank you so much. Hey, this is Zach. Please give me a call back whenever you can. I appreciate it. Thanks. Okay. Interesting one. I like it. I like it. Let's see here. On the next one. So probably get a call back from him soon. Five three five. Ooh, got denied. Oh no. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. A lot of these are older phone numbers, but they're simmering. There's a lot of good stuff on here. 90K price cut. Ooh, now we got a deal on our hands. 313. That's Detroit. I learned about the 313 area code from watching uh, 8 Mile. Everyone from the 313, yeah. I always thought it was a real freestyle in that movie until I learned it was scripted. Hey, this is Zach. Please give me a call back whenever you can. I appreciate it. Have a great one. 
All right, next one. Let's go a little quicker here. All righty. Ooh, okay. Hmm. Nine zero four. All right, no answer on that one. Jeez. All right. Let's go to the next one, guys. Jake says, how many callbacks uh, do you get on these voicemails? Usually about half, I would say. They're pretty good. has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system nine zero four eight nine one six six seven one is not available at the tone please record your message when you have finished recording you may hang up or press one for more options hey this is zach please give me a call back whenever you can have a great one Ready. I'm getting asked here uh, really quick. Let's see, where is it? Where do I find the free course? Freewholesaling.com. Uh, let's see where you find these phone numbers. Let me, for, for example, in this deal right here, uh, I'm getting it right here where it says listed by property owner right there, where it just highlighted it right there. That's where I'm getting it. Hello? Hello? Hello, hey, is this the owner of 7883 Baja Vista Court? It is. Hey, this is uh, Zach Ginn. Is this a, a good time to talk? Uh, sorry, who is this? This is Zach Ginn. Okay, yeah, what can I do for you? Hey, uh, I was looking at this Zillow for sale by owner ad here, and I had a couple questions. It seems like a property I might be interested in buying. Okay, 
Sorry, you, you cut out there for a little bit. What, what, what was it? I currently have it under contract, but I am taking backup offers. Okay, so so it is under contract right now. Correct. Okay, no worries. Let me uh, let me look at everything and uh, see what I can do. Do you know what price you have it under contract for? I do, but I'm not going to share that. Okay, no worries. I appreciate. It. What was your name? Nancy. Nancy, Nancy, thank you so much. Yeah. I'll give you a call back and okay. uh, see what happens. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Have a good one. All righty. Do not contact me. No seller financing or rent to own. Hello? Yes. Hello. Hello, hi. Is this the owner of 13801 Constellation Drive? Yes, it is. Hey, is this a good time to speak? I had a couple questions about the property. Uh, I'm going to assume you're an investor or a realtor. Correct. I'm not selling to either one. Okay. So are you selling it just, who are you selling it to? Okay. I mean, I would just be looking to buy it for cash. I mean, so you're looking to buy I understand. I understand that. Um, you willing to pay 80 grand? If not, I'm not interested. Well, I have to ask you some more questions about it, see if I was actually willing to offer 80 grand. Sorry. Okay. Go ahead. Ask away. Yeah, I mean, my first question is, is the land under owned underneath the property okay you didn't read my um my uh ad then we're on the ad if you read the entire thing you'll see that it is it is not i was just confirming i wanted to know how much the rent for the land was No, 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 no worries. I'm, I, I, I work for a title company, so when I deal with idiocy, it's different. <laughs> no, 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 I don't blame you at all. Um, the plot rent is 677. Okay. Includes trash and the amenities. Okay. And what amenities is provided on here? I, I've dealt with some um, of these manufactured houses before, and I'm just trying to see if this would be a good fit for me. I'm muting this right now. I'm trying to get her off her being angry and other investors and just asking her very simple questions before I dive in even deeper ones. Unmute. Well, I'm just sitting here trying to think of everything. <laughs> uh, that's as much as I guess I can think of right at the moment. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no worries. I, I, I know you, you said you work for a title company there. I mean, I'm just, just trying to see if it's a good yeah. fit or not. I mean, have you looked at the HOA around her and see if they have rules about people owning it as rental properties or corporations oh, owning no, it? Can, I, I have the bylaws and everything. You can own to rent. Okay. Rent to own. You can okay. Um, rent it out. We have a couple of people that do rent out their properties. One on our street in particular, but those people have been there that are renting that house for quite a few years for that home. Mm-hmm. Okay. Nobody needs off of our street. 
Okay. Everybody's staring and they don't move. <laughs> okay. Go, go figure that. Okay. Um, we do have very nice neighbors. Um, our newest neighbor is, see, she just has, she's got three, four, five years now. Mm-hmm. It's the newest person that was in. The only reason why they got in was because the husband and wife that owned it for a long time got divorced. Mm-hmm. Okay. And just thinking more about the property, I mean, what it says this thing's been listed for a while here. I mean, my question is, is there a reason why it hasn't just been sold yet? Because I haven't found, I'm, I've got very, very good neighbors. And I've had people come to the house actually with cash. And I have said no. When maybe I shouldn't have. But I'm not going to stick my neighbors with assholes. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I can't do it. Um, I've had young guys come up there, a couple of them. And I know all they do was party. Oh, my they gosh. Were about, and I'm like, you know, this is a family street. I'm telling you, young people are the worst. Uh, they, they'll destroy properties. Yeah, I mean, you got to be careful there in Jacksonville. You got some UNF students go up there; just they can destroy an entire house. I, it, it's bad. You just got to be careful. So I, I, I really appreciate you uh, looking out for your neighbors. That's that's really nice. Well, like I said, I've been there ten years, mm. and my neighbors mean the world to me. And like I said, they knew person on it. This one I want to show. Okay. Uh, the newest person on our street is five years. But you can imagine how long people have been there. Yeah. And I, I can't, because I'm still going to be seeing these people, their friends, after the house is sold. And I don't want them saying, oh, you, 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 you know, you got this, this, this asshole in here and da 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 No, I, I can't do that. So... If it takes forever to sell, it takes forever to sell. I don't have to sell it. The reason why I was selling it was because I got diagnosed with um, stage four colon cancer. And that's why. But, um, like I said, I don't have to. Okay. Okay. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, wow. And this is my first week back at work. That's why you're hearing me banging. <laughs> I'm trying to put my office in order. <laughs> wow. I mean, congrats. I mean, that, that must be such a blessing. Oh, you just have no idea. I found out my doctor said, well, you know, I don't know if you realize this, but you weren't supposed to survive. And I was like, I just lost. Yeah. That's a blessing. So, wow. Okay. Like I said, you know, I'm not in any hurry. I don't need to sell. If it sells, it sells. If it doesn't, I just stay where I'm at. Okay. I mean, my last question here was, it, it, it seems like you still work for this title company. I mean, where, are you looking to stay in like Duval County if you were to sell the property? Um, yeah, I will. I will rent someplace until I figure out where I want to buy. Okay. You know, That's perfect. So, okay. Well, let me look at everything and, and see if this is something we can do. Uh, let me look a little around and see, but I, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for uh, sharing a little more about the property and you. Oh, no problem. Like I said, it's no big deal. All righty. Thank you so much. Have a blessed one. You too, brother. All right. That was a, that was a long one, but guys like build reports or sellers. I, I cannot tell you enough. Zach, you're awesome. Zach, the rapport builder. He really is. Uh, Daffy. 
So another that, that probably not the best deal. I appreciate them actually telling me the motivation. Sometimes it takes that much rapport building to get the motivation out of someone. Like with her, she was cussing, and screaming at me on the phone. She was cussing and screaming. And then she opened up about her and told me why she'd want to sell the property. I mean, that's that is what it personally takes to get get these deals done, guys. So uh, I, that's what I can tell you. About, tell you, but yeah, I stayed through see if it's a good deal or not. I mean, that's the point. So uh, let's see if there's any uh, cold calling questions the guys have. Uh, let me know if there's anything about cold calling I can help you guys out with. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, let me know any questions you've got. And uh, we'll see what I can do to help you guys out. So uh, let, let's pop everything up. I agree. She wasn't really in a rush there. And I mean, probably not the most motivated. So thick skin. <laughs> that was awesome. She was cold, but you got her open up. Great example. Uh, so th the next question from Dominic here was, was interesting one is when did you, when do you make an offer? So for that one, best case scenario is I'm not going to make an offer right there. She just opened up to me. I'm not going to go straight into business. What I'm going to do is sort of look at the comps a little more and give her a call back and then hit her kind of harder with the numbers. Uh, you don't want to go all out in that conversation. That's something where you just put her in the in the podio. You guys are from Jacksonville. Put that one in the podio. It's still a great one. Just say you worked with Zach or you talked to Zach. You're my partner. Hey, close the deal. Guys, I want you guys to get paid. I guys, I, I want you guys to actually make some money. So I, I, I won't mind at all. So uh, let me know if there's anything I did uh, to help you guys out there, but that's probably what I'd do. I would have gone off the phone. I wanted to see the real motivation. It, it would have been a very interesting one to see the motivation from there. What do you get in the, what do you do to get in the right mindset, right, mind, blah, 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 the right mindset to call? For me to get in the right mindset for cold calling, what I have to do is start thinking about why I'm cold calling. Start getting a little more pumped up, a little jacked up for cold calling. Uh, start thinking about the motivations for why I'm doing what I'm doing and what I want to do. So it, it, it's really your why. That, that that's, that's truly where I've had the best success with cold calling. Uh, that, that's probably where you want to do it, but that's kind of where I'm at there. Let's see here. Pure G dog energy. I appreciate that. How do you start off the Ford method? Uh, F is for family. Talk about the family. O occupation, R for recreation and D for dreams. Uh, let's see the last questions before we hop off here for the day. Do you ask if there's any liens on the property? In, I have to get a little more. Uh, of course, I couldn't get any more in that conversation before I you know, called her again and just dove deeper into the actual offer. A lot of these sellers, you can't call and then close them instantly. You have to go out there and build a little more rapport, get a little more information out of them, and then you can go start closing them. So that, that's what I'd say from there. Dominic says, how do you get over cursing from seller? I freeze up and shut down. I mean, you just got to look through it calmly. That That's the way I, I deal with people cussing, especially sellers, is you got to be very calm with them. You got to be just very mellowed out and and just realize why they're cussing at you. If, if, if they're cussing at you because they're angry at you, you, figure out why. If you're virtually wholesaling and to say, come look at the property, do you say that or something else since you physically can't go? I'll... I'll probably say our company doesn't do that. We, we usually buy properties over the phone and we have someone go out there and look at the property. And then that, that's just how we buy properties. That, that's the best way that I've found success with it. So you want to know the actual, like, so what's the first question I ask when starting out with the FORD, the Ford method is, Hey, so tell me a little bit about the property. I mean, is this something your family owns or is this in the family? That's usually how I just start off with, with that. In my county clerk's website that recently posted a list of foreclosures, can I cold call the owners to sell before the auction or is it too late for redemption? Posted, can I cold call the owners to sell the house before the auction? Uh, let me know what county you're in. The laws are a little different and let me know what the laws kind of say about that. I have a house that I bought in 2014, 200K. Can I sell Can I sell for 600? I'm in a quiet place, the place where all the retired people want to be. But, but I'm in Canada, by the way. I don't know. Are, are the comps supporting that? that that's, that's how I'd sort of figure it out. 
Zach, you are taught. You handled it well. You're tough. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's what you got to do, guys, in these situations. Hey, bro, I'm averaging 700 cold calls a day and blasted through my list. I burnt through owner absentees and vacants besides government lists. I'm trying to pull. What do I do? Mm, calling 700 cold calls a day, blasted through many lists. I burnt through owner absentees and vacants in most areas. Mm. Uh, high equity leads. So really quick, guys, I don't want to hop off yet, but I do got to get some water. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go grab some water. I'm going to actually play um, play a quick, quick clip of uh, free wholesaling dot com and then uh from there what i'm gonna do is get the water and come back so it might be like blank for a minute but um i'll be back in like um two minutes tops so let me do a two minute break we're doing a little do a two minute break here and i will uh come back let's just get some water guys so get it going Hey guys, Zach in here from Flip with Rick. And after helping tens of thousands of people get started in wholesaling real estate and helping so many people out go from $0 to $100,000 in wholesaling real estate, I'm super excited to announce my new wholesaling mastery course. This wholesaling mastery course will have everything step-by-step -step on the whole entire wholesaling processes. I'm gonna give you real deal examples, I'm gonna hold your hand throughout the whole wholesaling process. This course will give you everything you need to know to make up to 100,000 to over a million dollars per year in wholesaling real estate profits. Most real estate gurus out there will charge you around $5,000 for a course like this. But today, if you click on the link, you will get my wholesaling mastery course for the low price of sell out. What? what? What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you mean? I knew you would do this. I knew you were going to go the course route with the guru. It goes against everything we've preached from day one. Don't be a sellout. The course is free. What? I'm, the course is free. I'm giving it for free. Oh, I apologize. Carry on. Jeez. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, duh. Do you think I'm going to go sell out as like a regular guru selling you a course? I'm not trying to make money off of you guys. Guys, over here, all you got to do is click there to just sign up. No gimmicks, nothing. Absolutely for free. It's a free wholesaling course. Literally, I've seen every single wholesaling course. I have access to all the 10,000 mentorships. Guys, I've literally copied them step by step. I literally have an entire course set out just for you for wholesaling real estate. Click on that and let's get started. Oh, we're back. Hold on, let's get this focused. Oh yeah, you can see all of me now. Just great. So I'm um, back here. We are hydrated and we are ready to keep calling. Alrighty, we're gonna pop this back on here and get calling. All right, we're gonna let this load back up. Okay, we're gonna call this one. See how long this one is, 81 days? Okay, phone number. This one's slightly, okay, this one's too renovated. No, we're gonna. Price increase. These are always my favorite. Buyers agents welcome at 2%. So let's call this person. Let's 
Okay. Thank you for your interest in our home for sale. Please leave us your name, number, and address of interested property. We will call you back for a viewing appointment. The home is currently rented and will require notification before scheduling an appointment. Hey, this is Zach. Please give me a call back whenever you can. Have a great one. Ooh. All right. Next one. Hello, hey, is this the owner of 208 Tracer Avenue? Yes, but we sold it. Ah, okay, no worries. Do you have any other properties that you're interested in selling? No, I don't. Okay, no worries. Have a blessed one. Shucks. All right. We'll go over 198. Looks pretty good right here. Let's go here. Dominic Chambers. I'm sorry I missed your call. We leave a message and I'll return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hello, hey, this is Zach. Please give me a call back whenever you can. Have a blessed one. Dang, we got some people on here. Again, guys, cold calling is not the sexiest thing, but it gets the stuff done, and it's it's legit. I love this stuff. So, let's go.
coverage 463738 Guys, remember when the mailbox is actually full, that is one of the best possible scenarios for your wholesaling business because that means that it's probably going to be a very, very good deal. Because I, I'm telling you guys, like literally when they want to sell, oh, it, guys, it is absolutely my favorite when, when these people want to sell. Oh my gosh. And they don't have their voicemail. That means it's harder for other wholesalers to go out there and try to take the deal. It, it's a great one. It, it's a hard one to beat. So I 100% recommend that list. See some questions. Jumped on, missed it. Dang, there was your skip trace method. I'm sure you have a video on that, guys. Guy, you don't even have to skip trace these. This is the reason why I love it. You don't have to skip trace these leads, guys. Literally, you don't have to skip trace. That is sort of the best part about it is there's no skip tracing involved at all. Uh, because these are free Zillow leads. Uh, that's kind of the point, guys. Great live. Thank you. I, I appreciate it, Angela. I pre appreciate all the love and support you guys just been giving me. It means a lot. Is there somewhere I can learn more about HOAs and land? Uh, YouTube video is probably the best one for you. Let's see here. I have a house that I bought in 2014. I think I answered that one. Message you on Facebook. Okay. Johnny says, how do you set expectations to let seller know that you'll be having partners and buyers seeing the property? Literally by telling them, hey, I have people come by the property where me and my partner might come by the property and look at it. Is that something you're okay with? That is the best answer I can have for that. Thanks for the real life example. I appreciate it. No worries. First time watching, I watch other videos and learned a lot. Thanks. Let's go, Pedro. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Of course. Uh, it will be in the description below after this video. Hello, I love it. Thank you for all uh, you both do to help us succeed. I appreciate that. No worries. Todd wants to know how fresh and accurate is PropStream data? Lots of pre-foreclosure people that I contact say it's old data. Uh... Depends. Like if you want government lists, it's probably not the best one. Uh, but really when it comes to uh, like high equity lists and like the big lists that are kind of harder to get. Yeah. Those, those are the best. Palm tree cup. Of course. Got the palm trees behind me. Why not? Always. Best way to get FISBO to cut the price or, or ridiculously priced homes? Uh, literally by doing the one uh, I, I'm telling you guys. So let me see here. The best way is using the script. So ask him, hey, is this the owner of 123 Main Street? From there, hey, did I catch you at a good time to talk? I'm calling about your ad on Zillow and I had a couple questions. I'm actually looking to buy it for cash. Other than price, why are you looking to sell? And then from there, we, we kind of have to get in the report piece. And then a little further, we go we go with motivation. We talk about their time frame, condition, and price. And then we ask them if they're flexible on the price, if we're able to pay closing costs, inspections, and everything, whatnot. Uh, what would be a good time for me to call back and present my cash offer or meet you at the property? Uh, that's kind of how we come down on price. Uh, we let them know if it's something they'd be interested in or not. Send you a DM for one in Austin. Okay, let's see if I can close some deals really quick from there. Okay, Karina sent me some more info here. Okay. For this one in California. All right, I'll, I'll try this one.
Hey, this is Zach. Please give me a call back whenever you can. Thank you. All right, someone sent me another deal. Okay. See if I got it. No. I'm trying to find your DM here. You said you DM me. Let me go by name. From Angela. All right. Okay. Angela might be in my requests. Got it. All right, let's let's pop it up here. circle so oops oh my gosh this was the uh texas blizzard of of uh 2020 <laughs> oh 2021 oh my gosh i'm getting my years confused here Check out a question here. Hey, Zach, after you gave your course out for free, a real estate guru gave his course out for free. I think he started something. No, guru did not put a free course out. They might have put like a, a fake one where they're going to try to like, like give you like a 10% of a real course and then have you sell it. Evans, let me know which person brought out. I'll, I'll tell you if it's legit or not. I'm the only person that put a legitimate course out. I promise you. Every other course out there from a, from a, from a guru it, they're all funnels for you to go buy their premium coaching or something like that. So it, it's not a free course. I, I'm telling you, they, they're, they're using your data. They're selling it. They're buying it. Guys, th these are not free wholesaling courses. They, they are, will, they will poke and prod. They'll cold call you. You'll be on lists. And first of all, they're all watered down. You won't get the real information on that course unless you buy their five, $10,000 mastermind guys. I'm telling you. All right, let's get the number. I'm telling you, I hope everyone, their, their, their regular mentorship or course, they won't give that for free though. You have to pay for it. it, it it's, it's all a game. I, all my info is out for free. That's probably the, the reason why these gurus are dying. Hashtag I hate gurus. All right. All right, phone number... Not in service. Please check the number and dial again. Hello, hey, is this the owner of 6113 Palm Circle? Yes, it is. Hey, is this a good time to talk about the property? How long, how long will you need? 
Uh, probably five, 10 minutes. Yeah, I got that. All right, perfect. So I'm just looking at your ad here on Zillow for sale by owner. Are you still looking to sell it? Yep. Okay. And I'm just kind of curious on this. So I see a picture with uh, the snow on and everything. I was just seeing, uh, how is the present condition of the property? I live there. It's livable. Okay. What do you mean by livable? Like, is it renovated? I mean, I've made energy. Uh, yeah, I've made energy efficiency upgrade. I've made appliance upgrades. I've pretty much redone both bathrooms. I, yeah, I mean, I've made sixty or $70,000 in improvements to the property since buying it. Wow. Okay. Nice. And it says here that it was listed for 189 days. I mean, is there a reason why it hasn't been sold yet? Um, because I'm putting it at the make me move price because I will need to move when I sell it. So I'm not going to underprice it. I'm not in a hurry. If the Austin market's not ready for this price, I can wait six months. I can wait 12 months. Okay. So, so you're not like in an urgent need to move or sell the property right now. Nope. Okay. Are you looking to stay in Austin if you were going to move? I already have other properties that I will be moving into one of. Okay, cool. And do you have any other properties that you're interested in selling besides this one? Everything's for sale at the right price. All right. No worries. And can you tell me a little bit about the uh, solar you installed in the house? Um, I own it. I did it with the roof replacement. An electrical upgrade was part of the process. It's a 3.1 kilowatt hour system. It's got a third party warranty for the next 22 years. Okay. Wow. And what and company? It also covers the mounting equipment, the roof, the roof, and the solar. It was installed by Well Solar. I don't remember the underwriting company of the warranty. Okay. Interesting. And like, what's your electric, electric bill over there now? Just curious if I had to buy it and have uh, it as a rental. Four months, it's zero, then it's a positive value. Wow. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Like right now in the summer, um, it, it says positive bill. Generally, August, July, it's pretty much never a positive bill in like December or March. Hmm. Okay. Well, uh, let me look. I mean, you said, so this is just like your make me move price? Yep. Okay. And are you just going to list on the property when you're actually ready to move and sell it? Um, I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move when I get this price or a higher one. Got it. Okay. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, have you any got any offers close to 535,000 in this house? Uh, I got a 540, but it was on a two year purchase contract and uh, the dollar is not going to be worth the same amount in two years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like I didn't let them go under contract. Another one offered 499, but they wanted uh, six months to close and, uh, I just really felt like they were, uh, I, uh, I put the option fee up to 10K and they, they bounced after that. So, you know, I, I want somebody who's actually going to buy the property and that's why it's, you know, not under contract because I've certainly gotten plenty of people who just want to get it under contract, but they want it to be real easy to uh, break contract. And uh, that's why I like to know your offers. I'll sit over my terms. Wow. But I mean, I get three or four calls a day like this at this price. Wow. Okay. Well, yeah. I appreciate it. What, well, what was your name? You probably no. There's just no inventory in Austin, and this is a, no. a livable house for under six hundred thousand dollars. You just about don't see that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. I I agree. So, let me look at everything, and uh, if something I'd be interested in, I'll give you a call back. What was your name? I don't think I caught it. Ian. Ian. Yep. Thank, thank you, Ian. Thank you, Ian. I, I appreciate it. You too. Bye bye. Oh wow. Okay. So that was an interesting one, guys. <laughs> Jeez, Louise, that one. That was a that's not a motivated seller. Let's see any questions I got here? Catherine wants to know: Does your course show you how to calculate error? Of course it does. Why would it not? How do you set expectations to let the seller know? Okay, I think I answered that one. I was already looking at the yellow house. <laughs> Perfect. 
Let's see here. A good one from Car Snobs is you have to keep cold calling until you find an owner that would rather get a bit less and get sold quicker. 100% true. I agree. Okay. This is the one I'm calling. And Flores Coast looks very rigid. Oh, yeah. When you're talking to a seller, but you're out of state, and I think I answered that one. Wait. Any, you say example, the older unmotivated guy, can I come look at the property as a test question? What do you say when they say yes? And try, try to see if you can do a virtual one. That's the one I, I probably would say. How many days does the property have to be listed for you to cold call? I like to do above 45 days, 90 plus. I mean, once it's in the hundreds, I, I think that's the best, uh, but I, I've done plenty of different ones. But overall, I, I would probably say... Hmm. Mm. How many days does the property have to be listed for you to call, call it? I prefer about a hundred. Love the new background, Zach. I appreciate it. Let me let me show you a little. A little sneak peek, guys. Got some wires bulging everywhere here, but um. Let me show you the back here. We're getting the bottom all uh, fixed up, but we're, we're, we're doing some stuff here, but hashtag I hate gurus. It's a fun one. Let's change this up a little. Part of the new uh, big announcements we guys got going on here, but it's exciting guys. This is a, uh, this is exciting live. Love to help the people out. I don't think many people know about the other listing tab in Zillow. I, I I agree. I think that's where a lot of people get like caught up, and uh, it, it's interesting to see. But uh, overall, I think it does pretty good. So, what does it mean the property owner says a state of? This is the state of you know John Smith. I mean, it's just it, it's the state. So the owner of that place. Thanks, Zach. I appreciate it. No worries. What's the best website to evaluate a house in Canada to know the price of house in the area you live in? I can't tell you for Canada. I know the best is probably looking for what property values, what, what they're selling for on the market currently. All righty. Hey, Zach. Oops. Already answered that one. I would say get rid of the books and go to YouTube. Just keep it on YouTube, guys. Hey, Zach, how long after you get a contract signed would you take it to a title, title company? The next day or the day of? 100%. I sent you a DM for one in Kissimmee. Okay. Let me see if I can pop that up. I believe in you, bro. Thanks. Why does it matter if someone put a course out, just use Zach's and leave it ish at the gate? Uh, people love to start drama. Yeah, but again, you guys got to remember that they're watered down courses. They're actually not like, they, 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 don't, they don't put all their value into it. Like they're not trying to give you all the info because they're, they're trying to sell you still. So I, I'd be careful with that one. Um, they're watered down and they're going to try to sell you like crazy in the course to go buy their premium $10,000 mentorship. And they're saying, we're not going to give that one. That's in the premium mentorship. No. Guys, you're being withheld information. Just give you social credit. Free course, just give your social and uh, credit card number. And your soul. Oh my gosh. That place is a wreck. Thanks for calling it. It's liberal. When the guy said, quote unquote, it's livable. It's it's livable. Like, come on, get out of here. Get out of here. Like a New Yorker. I ain't gonna deal with that. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Come on. Getting paid to inject solar back in the grid. It's interesting, but remember, guys, in the winter, it's not that good. What do you do if this house of city leans? I 
then they'd be even more on my list, honestly. I love deals with solar liens on them. They're great. I mean, that that, that just means they're more motivated. I, I think it's great. Is there a voicemail script to use? Or would you be like, hey, it's so in here, give me a call back. Yes. I think the callback is way better. Uh, I think I think it's way like, hey, give me a callback is just a way better example and a ba way better way uh, of getting wholesaling deals. I'm personally just not the biggest fan of, you know, given all the information, say, oh, I buy houses cash. No, I, I'm not a big fan of that. I, I'm the biggest fan of just doing that. It piques their curiosity, which gives you a callback faster and way better. That, that's my personal recommendation for that. But yeah. He made this course for free. And the first thing that comes up for sales, only accepting 10 special people course, a complete fund. The, the, they're all, the, I'm telling you, they're all funnels. For, they're all trying to sell you $10,000 courses. It's, it, it's crazy. It, it, it's sad. It, it's truly sad. Still live. And hey, Jerry's a great dude. I, I love Jerry Nor. I'm just saying, when someone gives you a free course, they're probably funneling you. I don't know about his thing. He might not be, but I'm just saying, I my course, the only one I know that is in a funnel for anything. Still live? Of course I'm still live. Six, six, six fifty eight. Still live, baby. That was my dog. You're awesome, Zach. Thanks, Ren. I appreciate it. Anyone in the chat complete a deal before I completed a deal? Maybe one. <laughs> um, I, I have completed a good amount of deals. Fee simple, absolute ownership. Learned too much in real estate class. Oh my gosh. It's, uh, sent me a DM about a deal. All righty. Unless you're in Florida, it's always sunny here. LOL. Thanks for the veil, Tampa, Florida. Thanks so much. You're awesome. Not making any more calls. I'm trying to get some questions done really quick. Let's see. Let's see if I get any more leads sent to me. Uh, see what you can do, guys. Remember, tomorrow we're going to have Rick in on. It's going to be a really fun one. And uh, we're, we're going to talk about some announcements we got for the channel. Uh, some pretty cool stuff. Big announcements Friday. It's going to be a really exciting one. Oops. My thing died. Hold on. Yeah, whatever. We'll, we'll, we'll keep it like that for a second. So uh it'd be a very interesting one be a fun one so uh don't don't stop let's uh let me get some questions going here let me see if i can change this oops we're getting uh we're getting the technical stuff done, guys. We got these TVs up uh, two out. No, this last two hours. So three hours ago, we got it, literally we got it up, and I'm like, it's gonna look so bad to have four black TVs behind me for the live. And so I just, I, I just, I literally made this graphic in like five seconds. I did that one, and then Zachin's live wholesaling training. I did that in like I spent like a minute doing it because uh, it was like four. It was like four fifty eight. I'm like, oh shoot, I don't want any black screens behind me. That'd look terrible. No, no black mirrors. Uh, so sorry about that. We're I, I got to change the setting on there, but I, I was kind of rushing it because we, we spent the first half of the day getting the TV guys in here, like installing it. So let's see here. Got someone on here. Someone here to ask a question. Hello. Yo. What's up, bro? Hey man. How, how are you doing? Doing great, man. All right, good, man. I just I just saw your um your live the other day, yesterday. And yeah, awesome. All right, man. Yep. What question you got? How can I help you out in your wholesaling business? So I've been doing it for about nine months and over the time over over time I've been getting like been losing motivation. I got other side hustles going on. Like I do some sneaker reselling and I just have, I feel like I have more passion for that, but I want to have more passion for this as well. And now, and I was wondering like, how could I get more, 
How could I take more action? Okay. Like, do you need do you need motivation to get the action done, or like, what's why are you not motivated right now for wholesaling? I'm not sure, man. I think it's the cold calling aspect of it. Then don't cold call, bro. I've been doing some messaging as well, but you think I should do some? I, I've been, I haven't like thought about like direct mail. You think you think I could go into it? Uh, what's your budget? Honestly, like a thousand more. Yeah, I mean, test it out. If you hate cold calling that much, then try it. I mean, you don't, you don't have much to lose there. So, I mean, just just try it. I mean, I, driving for dollars and cold calling is my bread and butter. Yeah. Uh, especially like a government list. That's what I would personally recommend. I did. But, I, did I do some driving for dollars. But okay. You think I should send some direct mail to those? I mean, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I think cold calling would be the best. But if you hate cold calling that much, try direct mail if you want. I'm just saying there's a higher risk with it. So you got to make that decision ultimately for yourself. So yeah. it tried out. I mean, my best thing, I'd always test it out. I'd cold call drive for dollars until I got a deal and then test out more expensive marketing strategies. I mean, have you gotten a deal yet? Uh, no, I got one like in the works. That's just like, they're just waiting to be ready to sell and move out. Okay. Yeah. I, I would pr honestly, uh, bro, I, I would probably just keep trying. How many drying for dollars leads do you get a week? Last week, how many drying for dollars leads did you get? Like one. One, bro. Like yeah. you got to do more, man. Pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers. Yeah, hella rookie numbers. Like I'm saying, man, I, I haven't had much motivation. Okay. I, I can't give you... Dude, motivation is 1% of wholesaling real estate. Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. You, do you know what whole, you at ninety nine percent of wholesaling real estate is? What's up? It's discipline. Okay. That's it. It's di it's getting up and doing it when you don't want to do it. You don't need motivation. The most successful wholesalers, the most successful people in any business, they don't run just because of motivation. I'm jacked up today to do it. They do it because of discipline. They know every day they got to go out there and market. Every day they got to go find sellers. Every day they got to close. I'm you, you have, it's the discipline to do the marketing that will give you the success. Once the money comes, the motivation's easy. Having discipline. Hey, every single week, I'm going to go out here and I'm going to get deals. Every single week, I'm going out here and getting 50 drying for dollars leads. It's discipline, man. That's the difference between people that succeed and people who don't. It's purely discipline. So I think you should get discipline for a month. If you see no results from it, then sure. Um, try direct mail and go from there. But if you're telling me right now you're having no success, it's not my fault. It, it's it's ultimately up to you because you're not putting the discipline out there to go out there and get the leads. Start right. just start making making it a like a thing. Hey, I have to get 100 drawing for dollars leads a week. See what happens. Your life will change, man. I Motivation hear. won't be a problem once these deals start coming in. Yeah, I hear you, man. And honestly, I wasn't expecting to get on the call so quick. I thought I was just joining the live. So I was like, geez. Dude, I'm I got to change the lot. I got to change people's lives today, man. I, I'm I telling you. you. Thanks, man. Um, how old are you? 21 years old. Jeez. Okay. Are you going to do me a favor and do 100? Are you going to do 100 drive for dollars leads next week? I'm, I'm doing it for sure. I'm doing that. What too. market do you live in? Uh, Oregon. Oregon? Like Portland? Yeah. Portland? Yeah. yeah. Do it, man. Yeah. I just, I was making excuses for a while and now my excuses are gone, man. Like, um, 17, I, I just got my license. So that was my excuse for a while, but now let's get it. All right, bro. Well, come back when you get a hundred leads and tell me how that went, because you can tell me you're motivated. You're going to tell me it, your actions will speak louder than your words. I promise you. Yeah, and right. I believe you. That's right. Go out there and do it, man. Appreciate it, bro. All right. Thanks, Have Omar. Appreciate yeah. it. Yep. Emilio, what's up, bro? Oh, dang. What's going on, man? <laughs> what's up, man? How can I help you today? Well, first of all, I was just trying to comment that guy that's in Oregon. Dude, I'm in Medford, bro. Let's let's chat up. I've been trying can to find more Can you do me a favor people. for him? Huh? 
Can you get his butt behind the car and have him start drawing for dollars? Do what now? Let me turn on my... Do what? Let him start drawing for dollars. I'm Make sure he's drawing for dollars. Make sure he's doing it. Oh, dude, yeah, for sure. Get on I'm, his butt too. Man, I'm, I've am i been trying to get more people from Oregon. It's like, I know we're out here. <laughs> it's just hard to find more people around here, man. Yeah, I, I get you, man. So uh, what's your question, man? How can I help you become a better wholesaler today? You know, I do got a quick, I wasn't, it, I wasn't really coming on here, but I got some real quick. So I, right now I have, I'm with a mentor, you know, uh, I did direct mail. I'm about three months in, I got like, all of a sudden got like three meetings set up. So it's pretty cool. But, um, what I was wondering, I wanted to get your intake on it. So I've been talking to this seller. It's kind of like in a rural area, it's hard to find comps. And, you know, he gave out a price of 250,000, right? And I explained to my, you know, my mentor, JV partner kind of thing. And um, he was telling me that he's like, you know, without really looking at the numbers, like we got to be at 200. And I was like, okay, do you recommend doing that over the phone? Or would you like, because he's, he's like, just call him up and see if he's at 200. But the way I always saw it is, you know, you get a close enough price and then you go to the property to get the, you know, property under contract for what you should, right? Yes. I, you, you'll know the best price when you actually go to the property. Yeah. So it, it's, it, it's always hit or miss sometimes from there, but mm, go, I, I would probably get some verbal agreements with the seller before you go and close it. But yeah, it's just a tough one because you like call him up, see if he'll take two hundred thousand. I'm like, ah, that just sounds weird on the phone. Like, you know, I mean, I mean do, do it. it. Like, ask them if, hey, what, what kind of ballpark are you looking to sell the property at? No, yeah, like, so we've been talking on the phone. Like, he's really cool guy. Um, he's told me he just kind of wants to sell because he wants to move down to the Oregon coast. So he's like, I just want enough to. You know, and two two fifty, I feel like that was, you know, that's a pretty good price with what I've seen over there. But sometimes I feel like I don't know, man. Maybe my guy's like trying to get more of a you know assignment fee out of it. Which are I mean splitting the deal guy, are you splitting the deal fifty fifty? Yeah, we're we're splitting everything fifty fifty. Okay. Well that means how much can you sell? Like what's what's the situation with the deal? Um, so it needs a good amount of, like, it needs a good update. It's kind of, it's in this area that it's more farmland kind of thing. You know, it's, it, it's kind of woodsman area. And okay. it, there, I pulled like, for instance, I pulled up a comp for 325 out there and it was, I mean, it sold a couple months ago, pretty similar, but he was telling me it's, you know, when it's rural out there, it's really hard to comp it to that. So I'm just not like, you know, if, if, if I should get confirmation, I, I was thinking about calling the guy up tomorrow morning and just be like, it's flat out. Hey, like this is, this is what I was going to tell him. Um, so I, I've been talking with my partner and um, our finance, you know, guy is telling us that if we're going to purchase this property, cause he sent me pictures of it. I was going to say, you know, he's telling us that we got to be in at around 200,000. Okay. Like, does that sound like, you know, ask them what price they're looking to sell the house for. Oh, he was looking for 250. Okay. And do you ask him about the condition of the property build report? What's his motivation? Uh, it's too much, like he's got too much land, you know, he's saying that he's getting kind of in the older age, too much land to take care of. And he wants to, he wants to move back to the coast where he was born and raised. You know, he wants to go move back home before he, um, you know, passes away. He, he's a fisherman and, you know, I've done the whole dude, if you go through a real estate agent, you're going to wait way more 
you know, I pulled away. I was like, you're going to make way more if you put it on the market. And he's like, I don't want to deal with real estate. I don't want people coming and showing the property. I'm more private that way. So, I mean, it, he's looking for a cash deal and he's got like a bunch of equipment, you know, that would need to be moved. So I don't know, maybe I can just add that in there, you know, like, oh, well, we can, you know, help you move that stuff down if we work, work it in the price. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I, how far is he from you? Uh, I want to say that's about an hour and a half drive for me. Okay. Is your partner closer? No, nah, we're both in the same area. Okay. I mean, I'd probably, with, with that much farmland and stuff, I'd probably have to go out there and meet him. Get some yeah. appointments around there, meet him, and just say, hey, I've just seen the condition. I'm kind of closer to 200. I mean, how would it feel if you can finally get rid of this property? Oh, yeah. No, he's, like, he even, so he pulled away from me, right? Like, he told me, oh, you know, I'm not ready to sell, like, I, I want to wait till after the winter because the winters over there get bad where he's at. You don't want to yeah. be messing around. And he called me back like a couple hours later. And he's like, you know what? If we can sell this within a, like if we can get this done and through ESCO within a month, I, I'm, I'm willing to do it. Cool. Dude, just go meet him. Like, I, yeah. yeah, you'll be shocked at how many deals sometimes where you go out there and they, you get it closed. You go see, out there and meet him. See what happens. That's what I was thinking. He's more of old school. He's a vet. He's, you know, I feel like if I were to go out there, then we'd be able to work something out. Do it. All right, man. That's I needed that. All right. Boom, man. Go out there. Take action, dude. Action over excuses. All right. And just double checking. I was also the one that I asked about the, I have the 2000 credit mailers that. Okay. Um, and you said, cause I, I'm not going to use the mailer again that they, they were, it was, a, I, I used yellow letter HQ and dude, it was kind of my first time using them and it was bad. I mean, <laughs> like I don't use them. Yeah, dude. They, 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 they triple charged me like three times and I kept trying to get my refund and then missed I've gotten charged multiple times from, I, I don't use them anymore. Yeah. So I kind of just want to use my credits and move on. So yeah, you're I thinking like. With 2,000 just probates, just send them out, just waste, the, or not waste them, but just that'd probably be my best bread out here. Trying for dollars. Still the no, best mail piece you can send. Oh, so drive for dollars, get a list, and then mail that? Yeah, you and your partner. Be good to go. Why do you have a partner, by the way? Uh, So I went to a local RIA, you know, yeah. when I first found out about wholesaling, and he was – a local that does it so he told me that you know i asked him questions he's like honestly man if you want i can show you how to do it you pay for the marketing and then you know you basically what happened is i paid for the mailers and i took the calls and then he kind of does the end like the acquisitions part okay so, like I'm the beginning call. He's the closer. <laughs> okay. And so we decided like, he'll show me how to do it and we'll split it 50, 50. And I was like, Hey, that's, that's what's up. All right, man. That's what's up. <laughs> All right, dude. Well, uh, let me know how it goes and uh, let me know anything else I can do to help you out. All right, Zach. Thanks. The really Goofy you. Flair, bro. Thank you so much for all you do and all the Thank work. You. Of course, man. <laughs> Have a blessed one. Right. Later, man. Hello. Zach, what's up, bro? What's up, man? How are you? Yeah, man, loving the setup. Thanks, man. What questions do you got? How can I help you out? Yeah, for sure, man. So um, last we talked, you told me to get some government lists and uh, called uh, uh, the utility departments multiple times for, I believe, Raleigh or Wake County. And uh, they won't budge at all. I called them multiple times. They're just not moving at all. They're like, it's private. We're not going to give it to you. Forget about it. And so... I called the clerk of the court and then they told me uh, that's also private. We don't give that information out. And uh, and then I was like, okay, well, I'm going to call Charlotte's next. And they were like, okay, no worries. You, we, can, we can give that to you. We charge money for it. Though. I'm like, okay, no worries. So basically I submitted a public request form because that's the only way to do it. And I called them 
uh, again and I'm like uh, any updates on my request and they're like we can't uh, we don't do that um, sorry I, I had a brain fart <laughs> my bad it's late in the day um, they basically had no number and I'm just waiting for the person to pull the list and email me back there's no way to like uh, get an update so I'm just waiting I tried to get a uh, probate list I requested an attack lien list uh, I called the fire department as well and that took a long time because there were a bunch of numbers, a bunch of menus, press one for this, press two for that, and it took me a day to actually find the person I was supposed to call. They didn't pick up, and they called me the next day, and they were like, you know, um, what you got to do uh, is submit another public request form. I just got a confirmation email today, and so now I'm waiting for all the lists to come in uh, regarding the government lists. Meanwhile, I'm cold calling as much as I can. Um, we're averaging about five to seven hundred a day, every day cold calling, cold calling. Uh, let's see, we blast through a couple of lists, uh, usually tired landlords, uh, owner absentee, vacants all across the state of North Carolina. So everywhere, Fayetteville, Greensboro, I compiled it all, we blasted through it all, and today I just finished the list, and now I'm not too sure what to do. Okay, like let me give you a quick tip right here. Did you just go here? Have you done this before? I mean, I'll do it for you if you need me to. Right Gosh. up here, Raleigh, Wake County. This is where you request the information. All probates. Put your info here. Okay, uh, what's the link? My... The Wake County Clerk of the Court. Like, I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing any rocket science right here. I literally just search up the county Clerk of the Court. I look up public records, and then this is what you got to do. Like I, I'm not no rocket scientist with this stuff, but you, like you, you're telling me they won't give it to you. Do it right here; you'll get it. Because I called them and they're like, "Yeah, we don't give it to you." But um, I did not know. request it. Yeah, so I go to forums and I go to. Uh, where? How did you find this? Did you? Wake County Clerk of the Court Public yeah, Record. Yeah, I'm there. I'm on the the judicial branch website. I clicked on forums. Uh, criminal record search. I'm trying to look for nccourts.gov dash public records dash request. Okay, brilliant. So get on there and uh, request. Okay, brilliant. One second. Public records slash request. Forward slash nccourts.gov forward slash public records. Pu no, forward slash public dash records dash request. Easy as that. I'm there. Thank you so much, friend. And uh, okay, so I'm gonna do that literally right now. Uh, okay, I hope you do. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And so, other than that, what other action should I be taking to ensure that I get some fire damage property list? Uh, they, I already submitted a request form for that. They told me that they're gonna get back to me as soon as they have the list ready. Okay. Did you do that for all the areas that you want? I did it for the two biggest ones. Uh, I'm still gonna Why do don't you do it for everyone in the next two uh, in the out in, the, in an hour surrounding radius? Every single city fire department. Uh, because I was cold calling the other list that I already had. Do so. it, man. Okay. Keep doing it. Okay. You gotta and, get the leads coming in. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And uh, any other uh, advice do you have for? So that's that's all in the government. I'm gonna do all that literally right now. Any, any other, code violations? I so I got the code violation list for for Charlotte. And I'm going to get that skip trace as well I'm in the process of doing so. Uh, it only comes in, um, it has addresses in it. So there's lots of different reasons why people get code violations. Uh, some of them have the high grass, high weeds thing. So I'm taking those out and I'm going to skip trace those. Um, but a lot of other ones uh, have a bunch of other ones. And some of them get closed as well. Uh, a bunch of inspection notes. So I have to filter and sift through all of that uh, and hopefully... I'll find something. So doing that as well. Um, anything regarding pay lists, maybe? So while to you know to keep the the show going on while I'm waiting for the lists to come in, the government ones. Uh, try get uh, high equity lists. Pop them on. High equity lists. Okay. And after that, what would you'll you have mean? enough for high equity? Trust me, bro. Vacant. Gotcha. Okay. Right. Right. Brilliant. Brilliant. I just cold call those. And if you um, go through every high equity in Raleigh and Charlotte, then I'll, I'll give you a, 
a pat on the back. Like if you do that within that time frame, it'd be almost impossible. You doing it by yourself, it'd be yeah. expensive list to do. So I think I think we got plenty on your plate doing that. You'll find plenty of deals. Okay, and is and and, and uh, it's a good list, correct? It's it's uh, high equity, yeah, for those two cities, yeah. Okay, brilliant, brilliant. And um, quick question for you, another one. Um, I'm trying to set up my follow-up sequencing. So I'm doing cold I'm, – I'm trying to get in, fr uh, in front of the seller in as much ways as I can without blowing the bank. So I'm, I'm considering going to SMS as well just because it's not really that hard. Um, so I I was thinking um, I'd call the list and I about a week later I'd – SMS them and then maybe two weeks later I'd cold call them again. How do you feel about that kind of sequence? Does it work? Uh, do you get results from pounding lists that you already have over and over? How do you how do you work with that? I get really good results from pounding a list uh, through a different channel every single month. So text a list month one and then that same list I'll go SMS blast that list and then from there I'll go cold call that list or do direct mail. So cold call it direct mail, and then SMS blast that list. That's where I've always found the best results. Right, right. And how big are those lists usually? Just out of curiosity. Um, they range from thirty to 40,000. Okay. Yeah, those are those are pretty big lists. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Brilliant, brilliant. Because um, I'm, I'm thinking of... Uh, I'm actually just got my setup done today, and uh, I'm just waiting uh, for my account to be... Very, I'm using Twilio. Uh, I have to wait until that's finished, and then as soon as that, I can start uh, sending SMSs left and right. Um, I I think that's all. Um, I, I'm sorry, I have a lot of questions. Um, no worries, I'm here to help. Thank you, brother. Um, how much leads do you get? Let's say a list is about two, three thousand people. Uh, how much leads? Because I, I, last week I got four, four to five leads total from cold calling that entire list. Granted, they're not the best leads in the world, but they are leads nonetheless. They're not motivated, but you know, they did say they want to sell. So is that, is that, is that something natural or am I doing something wrong here? It depends on list, bro. Like honestly, like high equity will bring you a lot less leads per thousand than probates or drawing for dollars. It really depends on the list. And my, yeah. my, my drawing for dollars leads per thousand for high equity is going to be different than yours. It's just a different market, different marketing strategy. It, it just depends. We do so many that ours is probably lower than yours if you're individually doing yourself. And obviously I have a VA doing it. So it, it, it truly does depend. I hate saying that, but four for what, 3,000? Yeah. Seems a tad low. I'd probably pump that. I mean, how long? So there was that four leads for a full month. For, we got it in a week, so we finished the I finished the list in about one and a half weeks, and I got total four to six leads from the half to go back to my spreadsheet. How many sellers do you get a hold of? Uh, I'd say maybe about ten percent, a little bit less than that, because some of the numbers are wrong, some of them are voicemails. So that's why I want to do texting uh, in case uh, I fail to contact one. You know, I have a, a backup plan, I guess. That way I, I, I contact them from a different direction. I mean, I'd probably be getting, if I was doing it all day, every day, probably two to three a day. That's a VA working seven hours a day. So two to three I, responses, correct? Uh, like people picking up the phone or, or leads? Two to three leads a day. Yeah, though we're not, we're not, yeah, that's not happening. I don't know. I, I'm not sure I'm doing wrong here. All right. What, what kind of dialer are you using? Mojo. If you're using triple line dollars, you should be getting two to three leads a day easily if you're cold calling two to seven. We're, we're, we're doing triple. It's triple line. Yes, sir. I have a Google Voice okay. and forward to that. Uh, so that, that list I'm referring to is a Charlotte owner absentee list of about two K. It's for one. I would, I, I would test out high equity and see your results from there. You got to create your own baseline and then see. Got you, got you. Okay, yeah. And I, because I had another, so I, 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 you told me to split my marketing between Charlotte and Wake County, and so I have two lists, two thousand each, because that's uh, using the filters you provided. That's about uh, the the general number that I get from these two counties. So I, I did Wake County, and man, I got no leads at all from Wake County, and I'm like, wow. I mean, there's 
supposed to, I, I would assume, less competition. Uh, still a lot of competition, obviously, but not as much as Charlotte. Cause Charlotte is way hotter, and I got nothing from Wake County. And so I'm just like, oh, wow. So I'm going to literally text this, that entire list tomorrow because maybe it's just a timing. I'm not lucky. I'm not sure. How do you feel about that? I mean, Wake County is a tough one. I... I, I would test out high equity probates in every single type of lead source before I make a decision on one. I I test everything out. Drive for dollars, all of I gotta, it. I got to test. Okay, yeah, I got to keep testing. But would you say I'm making progress? Because I am I feel like I'm stagnating a little bit. Am I moving? Yeah, I, I mean, you... I mean, how many appointments and contracts are you getting cold calling every single day? Man, this is my third week doing this. Uh, so... I'm I'm fairly new to this operation. Dude, you're a baby when it comes to cold calling, man. You're gonna get yeah. better at it every month. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Thank you, brother. Put your um, head down and keep going. I, I I would be three or four months in before I start making decisions. If you're getting three to four leads, what a month? You're set. A week, I, 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 right? Yeah. I, I, well, last week I got no leads. The week before that I got like four leads. So it's kind of like, uh, and so far we have two leads. You'll get better. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm following the script, timeline, motivation, condition, price, um, building rapport. I'm laughing with them at the beginning, I'm pushing as hard as I can. Um, so, so you would you would say that my next move is high equity list. That's probably my best bet. That's what while I do. I, while trying to pull the government lists on the side and keep chasing those. Yeah. Great, great. And uh, and I'm also getting ready to call a pre probate list. I have that as well. A pre probate list. Sweet. Uh, how so? What's the difference between a pre-probate list on PropStream and a probate list from the government, from the clerk of court? What? How? Are those? Yeah, dude. A, a pre-probate is basically on PropStream when the it's basically it's scrubbing public records of death with ownership of property. So that's all okay. it does. So it, the property's not in probate. Just means someone that owned that property died. That's all it's saying. When a probate goes to court, that means someone actually filed it, which they're petitioning that, hey, you know, mom died. I'm the owner here. Here's the paperwork on the will showing that. Like you're going through the process of the ownership. Okay. Pre-probate's a lot faster than probate. So you're okay. contacting people before any court process is going through. Someone literally just died. They're going after obituaries, public data like that. That's how they're going after it and finding it. Okay, so pre-probate usually, if, if I can, let's say I get a contract, hopefully the pre-probate, I could finish that faster than a probate, correct? You no, I, the process would be the same. You're just getting in front of the seller quicker. Right, right. And how long does it usually take you to uh, seal a deal with a probate or a pre-probate? If they're different. It depends on the state, man, and the situation. If it's okay. a married couple, it's a lot faster than if it's the third nephew, fourth removed, who's the closest to her. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So it really depends. Got you, got you. Either okay. it's two months, sometimes it's a month, and I've seen a year. I have two probates I have under contract right now in Port St. Lucie that are over eight months that we're, we're still getting through. It's like fourth cousin once removed. The person had no heirs, and this person was it. It was a mess. We're still going through, like, they're huge, like $80,000 deals, but they're, they're taking forever through the process. We've paid lawyers four grand, getting everything. It, it's a mess. So it, it, it's all dependent. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. And I just, I really want to thank you for doing this. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a graphic designer. I, I want to make you a graphic of that TV, man. I think I can make something sweet that can pop out. Is there an email I can, I'm going to literally do that, like, right now after I finish getting the. Dude, other spend that time cold calling, man. We're, we're good, man. I appreciate it, though. Well, in the after hours, because I'm it's seven p.m. Sure, here. man. Support at flipwithrick.com. Thank you, brother. I, I'll send it over to you as soon as possible. Thank you, man. I really appreciate it. It, it really means the world. I really wish I had something like that. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Good day, bro. Any graphic you send, make sure it's nineteen twenty by ten eighty. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, we can throw it on the back here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. If, if, if we got we... the ratio right, but uh, yeah, yeah, man, I appreciate it, dude. For sure. Thank you, brother. Thanks, man. Have a blessed one. You too, brother. Boom. All right, last one for the day. We got John. John, are you on? I'm oh, here. Can you hear me? Oh, yeah, John. How are you? I'm pretty good. Thanks. How can I help right. you from a better wholesaler today? Okay, so I have a question. I um, I found an owner of a commercial vacant property. He actually owns multiple properties, over 10. He's highly motivated, motivated on one. So he's um, he's open to signing a, an agreement for me to um, – he's open for me to sign an agreement. Um, to put the, the property under contract 
for me to find a buyer until I find a buyer. Um, but he's going to give me a limited time. We haven't negotiated the time frame. So how should I approach that? And is that like a normal assignment contract that I would that be signing? Is it the seller you're, you're going to sign with or the, are you JVing it's, it? No, with the seller. It's not an assignment. It's an actual purchase and sale agreement. Purchase. Okay. It's a purchase sale agreement. And are then you, are you newer in this business? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dude, uh, I'm telling you, do me a favor. Go to freewholesaling.com on the bottom here. It's going to give you the whole process of contracts. I break down like every nitty gritty about the contract because you're signing a legal agreement. So I, I want you to be as no as knowledgeable as possible. I'm not going to funnel you in anything, but I'm telling you right now, man, go through it. It shows you exactly how to do the contract, how I'd walk through the property, how to deal with the assignment of contract, how to go through the appointment, how to do the pitch, how to do a virtual wholesaling pitch. I'm telling like go through that like a fine tooth comb. It will okay. help you a lot with the contracts and it'll give you the free contract to use and everything like that. Um, just so you have the confidence going in there. The objections okay. you're going to have to deal with, everything like that. Yeah, I reviewed the contract. I'll, I'll review it again because um, it was a couple of weeks ago. But he's he's um, totally open, like I said, for me to find a buyer for this property. So I didn't know if anything, if this was like something different. And it's commercial property as well. Okay. And yeah, I mean, how much profit do you think you can make on this? Um, let's see. He he's actually it was he had the property listed for two fifty, and he's going to give me a discount of sixty thousand dollars from what it was listed. It was it listed? It's not on the market anymore. Okay. I mean, go out and try it. I mean, how much, what's the profit you think you can make on it? Like on a wholesale? I, I don't know because it's, it's commercial property. I mean, it's going to be harder to find a buyer. Um, the difference between what it was listed for and what he's going to sell is $60,000. And no one bought it, you know, and that was a year ago though, that he had it listed. So potentially 60. Not sure. Yeah, I'll try it, man. Why not? Okay. That's my question. Nothing. So nothing different between residential and commercial. There is a difference. Finding buyers would be a tad different. Facebook is going to be the way I would do it. Uh, in the free wholesaling course, there's actually a module in there talking about all about wholesaling commercial properties. Show you how to calculate the cap rates on them and how to find good buyers for them and what you actually have to pitch to these buyers because they're more interested on cap rates and cash flow than with property values like a flipper. Uh, sometimes you get franchise people in there, maybe office space people. So go in freewholesaling.com. It has commercial wholesaling in there, a module in there. It'll help you out too. All right. Awesome. Appreciate it so much. Thank you. No worries, man. Appreciate it. Boom. That's it, guys. Remember, go to freewholesaling.com. I appreciate you guys checking out the live here. Big uh, announcement with Rick tomorrow. It'll be a fun one. And remember, guys, start using the hashtag I hate gurus. Appreciate it. Stay blessed, guys. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you smash that like button.